Kelly goes behind the scenes, part two of the operations and television side of staging a major pickleball event at a top tennis stadium. The main thing that you have to have is professional tournament staff to get it going, and Melissa and her team with pickleball tournaments. Volunteers, I can't say enough about volunteers. You need volunteers in every aspect, from check-in all the way to your event desk staff. You need your referees out there on the courts making sure everything is going seamlessly. It, it's amazing how many of these volunteers show up. They just want to be a part. They want to be a part of the experience. And usually at the end of a tournament like this, they're like, when's your next one? We have um, 80 high school students that signed up. I'm a former teacher, so I just, I love working with the kids again. And we have 60 adult volunteers that signed up, and majority of them are from our Delray Beach Pickleball Club. There are a lot of uh, operational things that go on behind the scenes that many of the public and the players do not see. Uh, part of my duties is to be able to recruit referees for a tournament like this. I work in concert with my uh, um, referee coordinator to ensure that we have enough referees, particularly certified referees, to cover the pro side. As you know, we referee every single pro match. And then we have our level ones and level twos who can assist us with a lot of the skill level matches. So it's, it's a challenge oftentimes, depending on which part of the country you are, uh, you know, to get enough referees to cover even the pros and to cover the uh, amateurs. So with, with the APB tour, um, you're on the broadcast team, you know, are you covering the entire tour? Tell us a little bit about, more about what you're covering. Well that's a very good question. I thought uh, this one would be a, a great chance to see how the team works, um, how much I like you know, sitting in a chair for seven, eight hours straight. Um, it's always something, it's been a, a labor of love before, but I was often just doing it on my own accord and having fun with it using a couple of four-letter words, uh, which I, I don't get to use much um, when, it's <laughs> when it's actually a serious gig. So I think it's a great start. Um, I'm enjoying myself so far. Delray Beach is, is fantastic. Um, so we're, it's a step in the right direction, and I'm sure I will, uh, I'll be on, back on the, the call again soon. How did you find pickleball? What got you involved in doing pickleball? Oh, that's a crazy story. <laughs> so um, I didn't know anything about pickleball. I do packaging for all different networks and all different sports. And I became a, a lot of a niche sport guy uh, besides all the conventional ball sports that we do. And I got a phone call from um, Terry Graham from the US Open, uh, just a random phone call because I do uh, CBS Sports Network uh, jet ski racing, which is pro water cross, in Naples, Florida. So Naples gave him my number. Terry called me, asked me how did she get her product on TV. She said pickleball, and I'm like, this is five years ago. I didn't know anything about pickleball. I'm like, all right. Well, I gave her some inside, and probably an hour and a half later into the call, she says, you're hired. And I'm like, well, wait a second here. I don't even know what we're doing. What's pickleball? So she had me go and venture down and play pickleball, and it was an incredible experience. It's a long story, but a very, very incredible experience, and I fell in love with the game. And for five years now, I owe it to the girls at the U.S. Open, one of my favorite clients in the world, and um, we that's what we've been doing. Now we've been doing pickleball. So you're not competing in this tournament, um, and the question has been around the pickleball tournament world, when is Morgan Evans coming back to compete on the pro circuit? Well, it's actually only a few weeks from now. Um, I'll compete in Newport, and uh, then I'll be at the U.S. Open at the end of April. Um, so I'm getting back out there, and it's, it's been fun to, to play again, practice with some of my peers, and uh, played a bunch of games this morning. I'm excited about getting back in. How's the game? How is the game? I'd say if I was to, uh, as an outsider looking in, give it a B plus, maybe an A minus, with a good day, with the wind. Um, but no, it's you know it's one of those things. It, it's like riding a bike to a certain extent, as long as you remember that the the road changes quite a lot, <laughs> and you have to be ready to to steer in a new direction.
uh, coming off practice here at the Delray Beach Stadium Court. So welcome to Delray Beach. And uh, what do you think about playing in the big stadium? Uh, I tell you, I, I walked in and it reminded me a little bit of, of U.S. Nationals uh, 2019. You know, the stadium's amazing. The, the vibe here when I walked into the court and there's even nobody in the stands is amazing. You know, the beautiful weather. You know, we just came from, from Utah where it was snowing <laughs> on the last stop. So this is a, a, a really, uh, a really nice change for us. How is that going to change? Because a lot of the pros are coming in from the cold weather and the rain and so forth. You, you fly in here and I guess South Florida, you're going to have battle the heat. So uh, what's the dif difference going to be for you and your, and your strategy? Well, you know, I always play well in warmer conditions. You know, I think the majority of pickleball is played in these types of conditions. So the ball is just that little bit softer, which really suits my game. I'm a, a very patient uh, percentage playing player. Um, but it, uh, it, you know, definitely for me, uh, this is something that I really look forward to. Uh, you know, the, the energy in a stadium like this and, and the warmth is, is something that I love. It's going to be fun. Now, who are you playing with? Uh, are you playing mixed and men's doubles both? I am. I'm playing uh, men's doubles uh, with Deco Bar, and I'm going to play mixed with a, a fellow Canadian, Captain Toronto. Sounds great. We look forward to seeing you out here, and it's going to be a lot of a fun tournament in Delray Beach. Inside World Pickleball Show on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Coulter Homes, home of World Pickleball Open. Get pickling by North Point Bank. One loan, one low rate, and a home that's uniquely yours. The Brandt Team. And by Engage Pickleball. Because I win with it. <laughs>